First person shooter fans have been looking for a new original high skill ceiling over the top creative movement shooter for what feels like an eternity. What if the game answering the call was actually a look backwards towards the past? Tribes 3 Rivals is a new entry in a classic FPS franchise that's currently undergoing playtesting that will mark the return of a shooter that is truly one of one. Nothing else like it out there. But how will gamers react? That's the question. Let's talk about it. Recently spent a few hours with Tribes 3 Rivals playtesting the game, streaming it on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Mayor Reynolds, by the way. And what I found was an insanely satisfying, punishingly hard team-based FPS with movement and map design that's really unlike anything on today's market. And I had dabbled with Tribes in the past, like way long ago. This is a franchise that goes back decades, but I never really, as an adult, got into it. I played it when I was very young, and that is, you know, it goes way back to like the late 90s. It's been in the hands of several different developers, and uh, most recently, hi -Rez, actually, but this is not developed or published or even associated with hi -Rez. Tribe 3 Rivals has a new team behind it, and uh, that brings us where we are at now. Known as the fastest FPS ever to some, Tribes features a variety of crazy fast movement abilities, jetpacks, futuristic weapons and settings, ginormous maps that feature things that look more like ski slopes than what you're used to if you're a player of Call of Duty or Halo or Valorant or other competitive games. I mean, just take a look. These designs are totally unique. It's, it's not a normal map. You have to use your movement to slide around and gain speed. There's a, even a speed gauge on the screen to see how fast you're moving. And it, it really creates an insane, insanely high skill ceiling for players who really know the maps know the movement mechanics and it makes it also very challenging and satisfying at the same time so if you're watching this video you're probably familiar with the competitive games of today and if you take a step back you might look at this and be like this is not a competitive game it doesn't have you know symmetrical maps x y and z but if you look at it from the outside it does have a lot of the pieces that would make it a competitive game the movement and and the things that players can do you know, sliding at high speeds to, to the capture the flag style gameplay, which results in some interesting um, you know, offensive and defensive team setups in its 5v5 and 12v12 game types. It makes dueling in this game, dueling other players, something that's extremely satisfying where every kill feels earned when you hit multiple shots in a row with these futuristic weapons that are not easy to hit with. It's not your standard assault rifle. Or, or something like that, or even SMG. It feels good, and, and, it, and it really makes it a game where highly skilled players are gonna stand out, highly coordinated teams are gonna have roles. Like, in a way, this is the perfect setup for a competitive game. With all that said, Tribes is a hard game by today's standards. It took me probably 10 or 15 minutes of playing the game just to get my first kill, but after an hour or so, I was starting to get my feet under me find my own play style, you know, sniping people who are flying through the sky at high speeds. And when you kill someone, like, it feels good. It, every encounter with an enemy in Tribes 3 Rivals, or probably any Tribes game that came before it, feels significant. And it really allows for outplaying your opponent, no matter what your situation, if you understand the, the map, the movement, the momentum, the weapon systems. And again, like, this is something that I think a lot of people, it's, it's gonna resonate with. One of my big questions about the future of Tribes 3 Rivals is right along those lines of attracting players. There's a class-based system. You know, the playtest has two maps uh, that we know of, at least. Um, you know, there's there's a lot of questions about the game roadmap and future. A lot of gamers expect tons of content these days, constant updates, you know, new maps, new modes, new events, new skins, so on and so forth. In the playtest right now, at least, there's no shop or battle pass whatsoever. And even though a lot of people don't like games to be overly monetized, systems like battle passes do give gamers reasons to keep playing to unlock things. So what type of monetization past the basic asking price uh, will be an interesting thing to see play out for Tribes 3 Rivals, because obviously launching a game the days of old where you could launch a multiplayer game with 10 maps and a few modes and uh, minimum customization uh, that that's not too much of a thing these days, but hey, you never know, I guess. 
one thing that i will say about tribes three rivals is that i had fun in my time playing it without a doubt it's something different truly unique and if you're just looking for a change of pace you should try it out it, it's fun there's there's nothing like it and when you start pulling off those what feels like trick shots every time you get a kill it's just you're gonna have a good time so i would recommend trying it no matter what there's a lot to like be patient if you're in the mood to try something new give tribes three rivals a try if you listen to the video this long obviously you liked it i'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button subscribe to the channel for more previews of upcoming games and make sure you subscribe to my channel midnight mayor which is exclusively focused on dead drop and midnight society just seriously check it out you won't regret it when you talk about the future of the fps space that's something i'm worth looking at so we'll see you in the next video thanks for watching mayor reynolds out this video is sponsored by humblebundle.com one of the best gaming stores on the internet you can get games software all sorts of digital tools on this website at discounts some of which are in bundles so you know you buy the more you buy the less you pay kind of thing if you use my link down in the description not only will you get great games at great prices but you'll also support my channel and content in the process so check out humble Bundle and uh thanks for sponsoring us guys but you might love it Blind kill. Thought I had that guy. Here comes my imminent death. Woo! I had to reload. Bad timing. You can slide backwards, I just found out. I think that was a health pack. But, like, look at it. It's so much different than anything else, obviously, on the market. Oh my god, I hit somebody. Have you used three guns to kill?